Maybe you want to do it while you're on your four wheels of your board. Earlier, I chatted to Ryan Fanaspe, just getting inspired about how good young skateboarders are. But of course, they need a playground to play in. They do. And Battery Park is the place where it's happening at the waterfront. And if you've been wondering, where is Raul de Mornay? Well, we've sent him out on location to go have some fun. You think fun. he can skate? I think he can. He's I one of those people so. that can do anything probably, and everything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Ryle. <laughs> Yes, Mzanzi, and thank you so much, G and Zoe. We're coming at you live here at the waterfront out at Battery Park doing something special and talking about the latest Street Line Skate Tournament. It took place earlier this month where 80 of the country's <clears throat> very best battled it out for top honors as well as their share of that 40,000 rand in prizes. Now, this coming off the excitement of the Olympic Games hosting and debuting for the first time street skateboarding. And oh, we had some incredible representation. A woman by the name of Melissa Williams was repping us and doing the country absolutely proud. And on top of that, she just come off of the latest tournament claiming a third place. And so now she's joined by two other pro skateboarders by the name of Talent Biella as well as Jean Marc Johannes. So it's time to catch up with these pros right now. We're out here at the park, of course, and let's see what the stellar, incredible performance is from the superstar right here, Melissa Williams, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how cool is this, by the way? Yeah, super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, I've got to say, awesome stuff. Debuting at the Olympics, what was that feeling like, especially representing our country and doing us so proud? Yeah, the, the Olympics was pretty insane. It is, I think it's just like the world's best skate park built just for you and yeah. like 20, well, 19 other women to skate. Um, you know, the world's best. And it's just cool having South Africa be there, you know, it's like... Uh, been kind of hard sometimes to have a representation yeah. for our country and to be included was like a super honor really yeah, yeah. look from myself and the rest of Zanzi we can't say how proud we are of you and your yeah, performance thanks. and speaking of performances you had an incredible one street landscape tournament took place earlier this month you claimed a third yeah what was the performance like how did you get that epic result yeah it was a super fun contest we haven't been having I mean, I was skating park at the Olympics, so it was my first street contest in like seven years or Jeez, something, okay. yeah. So it's uh, really cool for me to see women being included in the yeah. contest. It's something that I've always wanted, like as a kid growing up skating, to be included as a woman. So I was super stoked there were 20 women skating, and I was just stoked to have fun and hang out and meet new people, so yeah. Oh, always stoked that you're here yeah, and sharing thanks. the story with us. And of course, we're going to be catching up with you in a bit, but you've got some friends here too as yep. well. I know Jean Marc <laughs> is here. The man is an absolute pro, guys. You've got to, you've got to find out about him. I believe it's a seven-time Guinness World Record all days, a South African champion, and also, <laughs> clearly as you can see, the first South African at the world stage to represent and win a bronze, a silver, and a gold man, absolutely honored, brother. How are you thank doing? Thank you so much. I'm good, thank you. And yourself? I'm fantastic, man. It's good. such a cool opportunity to be out here in your office. Yes, definitely. <laughs> but definitely. Tell me, man, money. like, what is it like being back? Uh, obviously, Street Landscape Tournament just took place. The yes. community is back. Everybody's able to see each other. What's it like having a community and having a competition for the very first time? You know, it's 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 amazing to see you know all the skateboarders coming together again. And I think you know for a long time we haven't had that. And you know it was very you know, open to everybody, the contest was amazing, you know, the energy was amazing, you know, it was, you know, pure skateboarding, and I think, you know, we, a lot of us miss that, um, and, you know, just to see, you know, skateboarders coming in, you know, on, on all levels, and just enjoying themselves, you know, that's, that's what skateboarding is all about, and all of us being there and sharing that moment, you know, that was amazing. Oh, I absolutely love it. Now, look, we're going to get a, a catch up on more of these superstars right now. We've got one more to show you. His name is Talent Biela. The man's another pro skateboarder in the building, of course, joining the rest of the crew, and he's going to be teaching us a lot about their tricks, their talent, and their vibe. But this man is all about the culture. Probably the coolest looking skateboarder that I've seen. The man's been in with full swag. Talent, how are you doing, brother? I'm good, thanks. Yourself? I'm good, man. Look, let's talk about skateboarding just in general. It's, it's got this element of rebelliousness, of passion, of freedom. But what is it about skateboarding that kind of just, just sunk you in and hooked you in and, and did something that no other sport can really do? I would say the freedom of self-expression. You know, you can get on your skateboard, make your own schedule. Um, it's not a team sport, so it's something that you can do by yourself. Um, and you can do with friends. So it's kind of got, you get both the best worlds, you know. You can go out there focus on your craft and then you can go out there and have fun with your friends and still do just as amazing things yeah oh i think i'm gonna stop buying a skateboard because it sounds so cool <laughs> and i want to hang out with you kids too but zanzi don't go anywhere we're going to be live again crossing to you and talking about these pros and getting some tricks into the game as well maybe they can teach me a thing or do i don't know i'm gonna warm up the ankles in the meantime but back to you in the studio guys i'll catch you in just a bit <laughs>
Oh. Wow. <laughs> Some amazing skaters. Jean-Marc actually gave me a skateboard the last time he came into studio after he did so well at the World Champs. I love you, Guy. Um, Ryle is going to be staying at Battery yeah. Park. More amazing skaters to chat to and hopefully inspire you. On the way, don't stray too far. It's my feel-good breakfast show. We're hearing all about these active bi active bodies, and I'm just thinking, can you imagine how many injuries skateboarders go through? I can imagine, but you know, we're going to focus <laughs> on the coolness and the yeah. fun factor because Raul yeah. is currently at Battery Park in the waterfront. Let's say hello. Oh, I thought that was Raul for a second. I thought, what? Yes. <laughs> Do you hate him? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. It's not out here live in Battery Park with some of these absolute pros. Brother, that was insane. What, was, what were those tricks, by the way? What was that? So the first one is called a nollie lip slide to fakie. Nollie lip slide to fakie? Yeah, okay. where you use basically the front of your board, All right. which is not actually your regular stance, so it makes the trick a little bit more difficult. Okay. And then landing backwards is also kind of a little trick in itself. Just, just a tad. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and then the second one was a feeble to fakie. Okay. So it's where you use the back track, on the rail, and then the front kind of hangs over and you kind of lean back. I don't know why they call it a feeble, but it's a nice trick. When you honestly wheel these things like they are ones, it's like <laughs> magic tricks, man. But tell me exactly, how would you explain your skateboarding style? My skateboarding style, I'd say, whew, it's kind of a hard one. I've never actually been asked that question. Um, You're just doing you. Flawless, man. <laughs> um, smooth, relaxed. Um, yeah, that's how it's, I think it's my approach. It's the way I'd like to approach tricks. I don't like to overthink it too much. I like to kind of let the board do its job and I kind of assist it at the same time. I definitely noticed that. You've yeah. got this kind of like a flow state when you get here. It's like, I'm in my zone, man. I'm doing my thing. <laughs> well, this is, <laughs> this is my vessel. Right I here. guess. So what is yeah. like the progression for you? I mean, you've been in the game for a while now. In terms of the progression of the sport, how are you finding that? What are your thoughts on that? It seems to be going in the right direction when I look at everything I see around. The whole, the whole thing around skateboarding in this country is booming right now and it's amazing to see. Um, and I love that females are being included into this equation as well. Um, they're getting the recognition that they actually deserve. Yeah. Um, and that there's like a little bit more going on as far as skateboarding. There's more skate parks being built which keeps kids out of <laughs> trouble, you yeah. know, put them in a better, like, controlled, safe environment to make friends um, and pursue their dream of whatever it may be, because skateboarding's taken me in to many places, you know? Yeah, man. Just one thing, so. <laughs> and for you, I mean, as a pro skateboarder still representing the country at the same time, you're pioneering the game. Some goals for you, maybe, in the sport? Um, 2024. Tokyo, I mean Paris, sorry. Paris Olympics, yeah, that's, all right, that's, man. That's a, a goal of mine. Um, and yeah, just still trying to push and share the love of skateboarding in this country. Um, yeah, and basically inspire people to skateboarding, you know? Look, brother, just seeing you for the last few minutes, you're inspiring me. I think Mzansi can see right now, and you're being inspired as well. So let me not take away any more of your practice and your time because you've got 2024 coming up. So hit it with some tricks so and some man. demos, man. But thank you so much. Appreciate Absolute it. Absolute honor seeing you thank do you. your thing and your flow state. And uh, yeah, man, the floor's all yours. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yow! Look, I bet you if you had a cup of coffee in his hand right now, not a drop will spill. No, absolutely not a <laughs> drop will spill. But that's why he is amongst the best in the country and, of course, went to battle it out in the Street Lions tournament for a chance to win that 40,000 rand. Fantastic talent. Very I love it. Fantastic. It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. Ryle is standing by at Battery Park. Now, whenever Jean-Marc comes into studio, he blows our mind with his tricks and, of course, gets us to play along. Let's see what he can do in his own backyard, in his playground, in fact. 
Uh, thank you so much, G. And of course, welcome to my office for the day. Not a bad place to be right now. We're live from Battery Park out at VNA, chilling with some pro skateboarders. And right now, we're going to be chatting to an absolute legend in the game, South African pro skateboarder. The man has represented South Africa and is the first one to win a bronze, a silver, and a gold medal at the international events. And on top of that, a seven-time Guinness World Record holder. Jean-Marc, how are you, brother? Good, thank you. Yourself. <laughs> so oh, good. good to see you doing your thing, man. Thank but you. talk to thank me you. about like maybe the basics, because we got a nice rundown seeing some demos from um, uh, Biela earlier. Yes, and, yes. And uh, I just want to know, for someone that's like maybe hesitant to get into the game, what do they need to do with their bodies when it comes to skateboarding? Because you guys seem so relaxed. You seem like you're in your zone. Yeah. Any advice yeah. from Zanzi out there? Um, the, so the first thing about, about skateboarding is the balance. You need to get your balance right when you get onto the board. So the, the most important thing is knowing which foot you're going to put first. So if you're going to stand like this on the board, okay. which is, is the regular foot, or like that. So whichever one is comfortable for you, that's the way you start. All right, so you get orientated yep. on the board. So it's nice. like writing left-handed or right-handed. Okay. Um, so once you know that, the balance is the most important. So it's important to put your foot flat on the board like that so it's nice and solid. Okay. And once, once you have that down, put the other foot on, you keep your body straight and centered in between. Right I see you don't have your locked board. legs either. Nice bend yep. at the knees as well. So that keeps your weight nice and centered so you won't go backwards or you won't go forward. So it's, okay. Stable like that. Okay. So that's pretty, it's as, as simple as it gets. So um, you want to give it a try? Um, okay, okay. <laughs> let me try this out. So I, right. I think I'm goofy footed. That means I've got to get my one my right foot. Okay. Front. So I'm gonna keep the the, the board stable. Okay. Right? Um, like that. Okay. Hold, hold me as like so. that. <laughs> and up onto the board. Okay. So, All right. So now you feel your legs a little bit bent. Yeah. You feel a little bit more stable. Yeah. So that's all it is. So whether you learn kick flip or 360 flip. Your balance is always going to be stable in the middle of the board when you pop and when you land. Okay. Um, so that's the first step. Okay. So once you have that down, then we can start moving. Okay, moving. <laughs> so am I staying on this? So. Okay. So keep your weight, keep your weight centered. Yeah. Um, in the middle like that, and I'm going to move you. Okay. Let's so, do this. So don't move, don't move your, your weight too much. Look at me go, Zanzi. You see how stable it is. <laughs> All right. I got you. Okay. So All right. It's gonna be the exact same thing going back. So keep your weight centered. Okay. Got it. Centered like that. Okay. Okay. Not so bad. Not so bad. Although I do feel like an old person so, yeah. right now, like a stroller. <laughs> so but I think I kind of get the gist yeah. of it, man. Look, I'm not gonna bomb Zanzi any longer with these tricks because I know you can do something proper. So you got you dem demoing a trick for us. Is there anything that is it's called? Is there a name to it? What are um, we gonna get to see now? So what I normally like to do, and in when I start skateboarding or just you know getting a warm up, is called a half cab no slide. Okay. So I'm gonna do it right on the box over there. Half cab no slide. Half Zanzi, cab, no slide. chatting to the pro right now. Here's another demo for you, checking out a pro SA skateboarder for you to enjoy. <laughs> Oh man, the freedom of it. I don't know if you know or realize how lucky we are to have three of the best in the land. And of course, Ryle is going to stick around at Battery Park.